Hello and hi everyone. Let's talk about topic 8, probability. 8.1, probability. For our first subtopic, 8.1, learning outcomes are define the concept of experiments, outcomes, events, sample space, and random selections. And for the second one, state the basic laws of probability. For our introduction, let's assume that there are three pens, a blue pen, a black pen, and a grey pen. What's the chance of choosing a black pen? So we may say that we have one pen out of three pens overall. Thus, the probability of choosing a black pen is one-third. The definition of basic terms in probability. The first one is a random experiment. A random experiment is a process leading to at least two possible outcomes with uncertainty as to which they will occur. Number two, basic outcomes. Basic outcomes are the possible outcomes of all of a random experiment. And number three, sample space, the set of all basic outcomes denoted by capital S. Example number one, assume that we are tossing a fair coin. The result will be either a head or a tail. So we may say that the activity tossing a fair coin is the random experiment and the result, which is head or tail, are the basic outcomes. Thus, the sample space S or the element of sample space S are H and T, where H represents head and T represents tail. Number four, an event. An event is a subset of basic outcomes from the sample space. For our example, to assume that we are rolling a die. So the basic outcomes are the numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. Thus, our sample space or the element of our sample space are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. So let's say A is an event of getting the odd numbers. So the element of A must be 1, 3, and 5. We may also represent this idea in Venn diagram. So let's say we have A here. So the element of A are 1, 3, and 5. So outside of A must be 2, 4, and 6. For our next example, example number 3, list a sample space when two dice are toast or a die is toast twice. So the sample space are as follows. Do remember that the number here, number 1 here, represents the number that, uh, that is shown on the first die and for this one is the number that represents or is shown on the top of the second die. So number one here is one on the first die and number one here is the number on the second die. So we have one one, one two, one three, one four, one five, one six, two one, two two, two three, two four, two five, two six, and so on, so forth. Thus, the number of sample space are equal to 36. Let A be an event of getting the sum of two numbers is equal to 6. Thus, the element of A must be 
one, five, two, four, three, three, four, two, and five, one. Therefore, the number of even A is equal to one, two, three, four, five, so equal to five. Now, let B be an event of getting the sum of two numbers is a multiple of five. So we have uh, five, 10, maybe 15, 20, and 25, you know what I mean? So thus, the element of B are one, four, four, one, two, three, three, two, five, five, four, six, and six, four. Because one plus four is five, so it is a multiple of five. We have five plus five is equal to 10. 10 is also a multiple of five. And six, four means six plus four is 10, also a multiple of five. So we have the number of even B is equal to seven. Mutually exclusive events. Two events A and B are called mutually exclusive if there is no intersection between the two events. In mathematical sentence, we, we may say that A intersect B is equal to null set. Or we may uh, represent this idea in Venn diagram A and B is totally separated from each other. So to put it into perspective, let's look at the example number four. Assume again we are rolling a die. So let A is getting the even number and B getting the odd numbers. So the sample space of rolling a die must be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. Now, the element of A and the element of V must be A is the even numbers, so 2, 4, and 6, and B are the odd numbers, so 1, 3, and 5. So, if you look at the Venn diagram here, we have 2, 4, and 6 inside A and B for B is 1, 3, and 5. Therefore, A intersect B is equal to, is equal to null set. Next one is exhaustive events. Two events A1, A2, A3 up to AN are said to be exhaustive events if the number of A1, union A2, union A3, union and so on, so A up to AN is equal to the number of sample space. So visually, we can also represent this like this diagram. Now for example number five, let S be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So if A is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and B are 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, you may say that A union B and the number of the element of A union B is equal to the number of sample space. Therefore, we say that A and B are exhaustive events. Let's compare it with this example that S equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and A 
the element of A are 2, 4, 6, and B, 1 and 3. So if you compare the, 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 the number of A union B with uh, the number of sample space, we may, we, it is obvious that it's not equal to each other. Therefore, A and B are not exhaustive events. So for our exercises, number one, suppose that you are going to toast a coin, write down all the events to make it a mutually exclusive event and B an, exclusive, an exhaustive event. And number two, suppose that you are going to roll a die, write down all the events to make it a mutually exclusive event and B an exhaustive event. You may discuss this with your lecturers. So thank you. See you next time. Bye-bye.